Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Mercedes. Um, I hope you guys can hear me okay in this video, at least for the intro and the outro. I had a microphone that I was using that was okay and it recently broke. I ordered a new one um, and it came in the other day um, and ugh, I had to charge it before I used, before I used it. And the USB um, like power cord wouldn't connect to the like base. And <laughs> Like, are you kidding me so i mean it's not an expensive microphone but it's not a cheap one either so i don't know i i just returned it to get another one in hopes that maybe this you know the manufacturer just messed up on this one i know my audio is always is like kind of on and off at least i think so i'm trying to perfect that and i'm hoping that new microphone really helps but i really wanted to get this video out because polish pickup will be live on friday I'll leave all the information below about Polish Pickup. I know I've mentioned it in previous videos. Um, what it is in a nutshell, it's just a bunch of indie companies or independent companies that come together and make like nail polish, waxes, cuticle oils, anything pretty much handmade. And they base it off, they base it off of a common theme. Um, like I mentioned, it is a pre-order if I did mention that. Um, so anything that you do order, you won't get for about three to four weeks. Um, the polish, I mean, the, the website is always open the first Friday of every month and closes that following Monday. Um, items can be capped, meaning that the makers will only make a certain amount of, of that item. So if they say, you know, a polish is capped at 100, there's only 100 bottles. Once they sell out, the likelihood of getting that polish to be, like if the maker decides, oh, let me add a few more, isn't always likely um it does happen but not all of the time so if you really love something you want to make sure that you're there when the shop opens but this month there is no common theme it's maker's choice um which i personally like because you can see you can see the maker's personalities really come out um and i really honestly i love the stories behind uh, behind the polishes or you know the items that they make you can really get to know the maker or the company based off of that. I'm on the northeast side, so for me, Polish Pickup always opens at 11 a.m., so 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I have four polishes to share with you guys today, so let's get into it. All right, guys, first up we have um, Jour Couture, and this is uh, Deuce Makos, um, and this is inspired by Haitian Fudge. Um, this is actually a sister polish for their November PPU, which was Peppermint Bark. All right, guys, so this is described as a chocolate when cold. So this is actually a thermal um, to raspberry when warm. I actually didn't even know that this was a thermal when I swatched it. So unfortunately, you're just gonna see it in, in its cold state, which is that chocolatey color. But honestly, I feel like you can see those raspberry undertones. Like it's not a complete chocolate brown shade, like if, if you know what I mean. Um, but this is this does have reflective glitter so it will dry down super thirsty and textured usually um, polishes that have reflective glitter can be on the thicker side I honestly didn't have any trouble with this formula um, it was just the right amount of thickness I think you could have been fine at well you could be fine at two coats um, I did add a third layer I just really wanted to make that color really pop on my nails um, but look even with that third coat i still didn't even have trouble um, with the consistency but here you can see it in three coats um, again definitely apply a glitter smoother and then a glossy top coat over that but you can kind of see like that strawberry pink shimmer just peeking through oh, and that chocolatey shade it's gorgeous next up we have dom polish and this is in do something um and this is described as a shimmer reflective with pink gold green shifts um in in silver reflective glitter and sprinkled within are little holographic glitters which adds an additional sparkle um it almost kind of reminds me of a like of a wedding dress um this is actually going to have five siblings to complete to complete a full rainbow so it's going to have that same hollow shimmer and reflective finish i actually will be swatching those so just an fyi look out look out for that video um, but this is a gorgeous polish this is something like i can definitely see um if you work like in an office setting and can't really wear like bright shades this has like that super sparkle in there um, but it's still a shade that isn't going to be all up in your face 
again the formula is perfection it's not super thick it's easy to work with i did th i did do oh my goodness i can't talk guys i did do three coats just so that i can build up that beautiful shade but honestly two coats would have just been fine and i have to say like my favorite part of this polish isn't even the reflective glitter it's those gorgeous shifts like you can really see everything that's described the pink the gold and especially the green shifts it's a stunning color next up we have glistening glow and this is living free in 23 um and this is described as a warm taupe based polish loaded with color shifting shimmers that shift from purple red and yellow now glistening glow is also releasing the living free in 2023 collection um and this polish is a part of it um so you can get the other three polishes in this collection um on december 12th um and that launches at 6 p.m but this polish specifically is only exclusive to polish pickup for this month this polish is beautiful again with glistening glow i never have any issues with their formula it's actually like the formula is always perfection there's never any running there's never any pulling it's like just the right amount it builds up beautifully in two coats that shifty shimmer is gorgeous so something you can definitely start off fresh with the new year wearing um, or even you know if you need to wear certain polishes to the office um, something not too bright this is perfect Glisten and Glow is also bringing us their glitter grabber to PPU this month as well now if you love if you love um, reflective glitter polish if you love a flaky dense polish if you love any type of polish that is super dense super textured or dries down very gritty you need glitter grabber in your life so you paint your nails you put glitter grabber over it like you were just applying a top coat right this will um, fill in those textured gaps and make a more like smooth base so when you apply your top coat boom smoothness Next up we have Did You Like The Song? And this is inspired um, by Tematoa from the movie Moana. It's actually the big shiny crab. Um, and Great Lakes Lacquer actually just released a collection called Beyond the, Re Beyond the Reef, which is also inspired by Moana, which I did swatch. Um, those I did swatch those um, polishes, so I will link it so you guys can see it if you want. Um, but this is described as a violet base filled with blue to purple to red and pink shifting iridescent flake blue to indigo shimmer and a strong scattered holographic Whew, oh my goodness guys this polish is insanely beautiful um i've been watching other swatch videos for ppu and a lot of people say this compares um to wildflower lacquer stolen flame which i do have and I want to say, if you don't have that polish, you need this one. It's absolutely stunning. Like, it is so bright, so sparkly, so vibrant. Um, I didn't experience any staining with this polish. Two coats and I reached full opacity. This is a definite must-have. You need this in your collection. Okay, so choosing favorites... I know there's just four. Um, I had three out of these four, um, but I narrowed it down to just two. The one that I cut out was Great Lakes Lacquer, only because I know I have some something else similar to it. So I didn't want to choose that as a favorite when I know I have another polish that I do love. Not that I don't love the Great Lakes Lacquer. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's stunning. If you don't have anything similar in your collection, definitely pick it up. But I wanted to give this portion um, like a fair chance. So two of them. The first one um, is from Giro Couture and it's oh, I hope I'm pronouncing this correct, but Dus Makos. Um, and I love it. I'm, I'm not really a thermal kind of girl. Um, I just love the, the color, that brown chocolatey color. Um, and of course the reflective glitter in there helps because you guys know I love that, but I didn't oil my nails. So if they look a little crusty, that's probably why. Um, but I think this is beautiful. I think it's a great polish for the winter, um, and the fall. I love the gold reflective glitter 
And honestly, like if this wasn't a thermal, I'd still get it anyways, just because of the color. And the second one is gonna be from Dawn Polish and it's called Do Something. Now I don't know why I am feeling like, polishes that I wouldn't usually go towards or choose. Um, I'm usually like a dark polish lover, something bright and fun. I don't really gravitate towards nudes, Psh, got my nails, or anything light. Um, but the shift is gorgeous. The reflective glitter, obviously stunning. Um, I really enjoyed this one. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me know if you're planning on picking up any of these polishes that I swatched. If you are planning on picking up anything else that's available for polish pickup. Um, and I will see you in my next one.